What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Al here with Strict TV and my son Zayden here is with me. Um, I just got a quick little video about, you know, what I do for a living. I've been building furniture at this furniture manufacturer for about 20 years. Um, we build furniture for the military and college and, you know, dorm, dormitory furniture and barrack furniture. And this is just a little quick video we made for a customer to build these small little wardrobe units um, overseas. I think it's a military base. I'm not quite sure, but you know, I've been there for 20 years. I'm a supervisor, and um, this is just a little instructional video that I didn't film. We did it at the company, but they cut it down and had to compress it for an email. And um, it's just a little grainy, but you know, you just get the gist of it. What did you think, Zayden? Yes, yeah, pretty cool. So I just hope you guys enjoy. It. Just a little insight on what I do for a living. All right, this is your um, wardrobe kit. You're gonna get two parts of the kit. This is the drawer kit part with your rails, closet rod, base blocks, z hats, and screws. You want to open up the bigger kit. This one has your sides, your doors, your top, your back, and your shelf. You want to take the door off of it. Next, you got your left side. Lay on the table. Now you want to glue your side. You got all these holes you're going to want to glue, which we're not doing because we got to break it down. Once you glue your holes in your side. Come to your drawer kit and grab all of your rails out of it. <laughs> Top first rail, you're going to have a finish coming out. The magnet's going to go to the right side. Right. Put it in here. Top back rail, finish side goes down, finish edge comes in. It's unfinished, goes to the back. Finished on one side, two edges, blank on one, put the finish in. Bottom front rail is finished on one side, blank on the other side. It's the wider rail. Come down to the bottom with the thicker part coming down. Bottom front rail the same way, but it's unfinished. Inner drawer rail. Come back to your kit. This is the bottom panel. Castle bore holes go to the bottom of the unit. Blank finish side comes to the top of your unit. The magnet should be up on the right hand side again. Come back to your kit. You're going to grab your right side, but you're going to glue, set it down on top, line your holes up, pop it down, Grab your drill with a, a number two square hood bit. This is an inch and one eighth screw, it's your 92708. You want to use it to screw the entire unit.
going to come back to your drawer kit. Get your four base blocks out. You're going to want to glue this side and this side. Feet come down to the bottom, close in the corners. Use the same 92708. Enter one eight screw. We got a little cutouts here for where the glue can stick to the side of the panel. back in a bottom back. The top back is the shorter one. Woo. Watch out for splinters. Bottom back goes in that way. You want your bottom back flush with the bottom part of the unit. You also want the top back flush with the top back rear. This is a 92599, it's a one inch screw. You're going to put it in, in through the back, into the top back rear. Three of them. You come here in the center. You got a back mid reel right here. You're going to screw these two as well. Same thing with the bottom bag. I'll come down to the bottom first. Grab your bottom back reel and put your thumb on the back panel and push it up and make sure you close the gap. side. You got castle boards on this side. It sits in on this little lip on the top front rail. It sits down on that lip on the inside. Take the same one and one eighth screw the 92708. and a quarter long screw is a 92685. Come down to your top back rail. Three in that rail. And we also have two in each cleat on the side. side of the unit has these caps in them which you push through to the other side with these machine screws. This is 66457. 
you open up your hinge flange, you see the holes line up here on the inside. After that, you're going to grab the 92324s. It's a wood screw for your hinge. And put them in the, the rest of the holes there. That's the number two square bit also. The machine screws he just put in was a number two Phillips. Come back to your drawer. Come back to your drawer kit, get your adjustable closet rod. You have three holes milled into each side. Closet rod also has three holes. You're gonna use these uh 92910 as a Euro screw. It's a number two Phillips head as well. All you do is line the three holes up and put them in. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed that. It's just a little insight on what I do for a living. Um, if, you, if you like that video, just like, subscribe, and comment. It's all free. It don't charge you a thing. You can do it if you want to. If not, that's cool too. What you think, Zayden? It's cool. All right, then. Until next time. Peace. Peace.